OK, part C of this question was find the probability that you get 10 or more, no, more than 10 sixes. So I've just written down here the question. Under the binomial, we want x to be greater than 10. The binomial was n4c p of 6. We've said it approximated by the normal distribution, 6 and 2 thirds, 5 and 5 ninths. That was in the previous clip. So if we want it greater than 10, we've got to rewrite that now under the normal distribution. And it won't be just greater than 10. We've got to use this continuity correction. What number am I going to put in here? This is a really important bit. Eve, what number do you think it will be in here? It's going to be greater than 10. If I put 9.5 in, that would include 10. And it's not to include 10 here yet. If there was an extra bar there, you would have been right. Because it's greater than 10, must not include 10, it's going to be 10 and a half that you have in here. So again, that's the use of the continuity correction coming in. Once you change it to normal, you've got to have the half there. If you're using a graphics calculator, you can go from there, and instead of using the P function, you'll be using the R function. I'm going to turn it round, though, into a less than 10 and a half, because the tables are less than. So I'm going to put a 1 minus in here. So if we just do a drawing, okay, I got a mean of 6 and 2 thirds. I want it more than 10 and a half, which is this small area over here. I'm actually going to work out, because I'm using the tables, the big area here, which is less than 10 and a half, and subtract that from 1. So if you're doing the tables, you turn it around into the less than thing. doesn't really matter which way you're doing it, on the graphics or on the tables. The phi value will be my x value, which is 10 and a half. Take away my mean, which is 6 and 2 thirds, divided by my standard deviation, which is 5 and 5 ninths square rooted. If you do that, I reckon the phi value you should have should be 1.626, I think that is in there. Okay. And if you look that up in the tables, I reckon you should be getting 0 0.9480. So from the tables, your final answer should be 0.0520, or 5.2%. If you've done it on a calculator, you may get something slightly different, but hopefully pretty close to that. Brent, have you got a calculator answer? 0.05193. Okay, so close. Okay, that's a calculator answer. So that's, again, another example of the continuity correction. You've got to be really careful here. Was it 10.5 or was it 9.5 that went in? And this is when it really makes a difference as to a greater than sign or a greater than or equal to sign. That would make a difference in that question.